didn't you hear? Misgendering someone is violence. Gentrification is violence. You can literally rape someone with your eyes. Women can also be non-binary at the same time. Having sexual preferences makes you a close-minded bigot. Black people can't be racist. I'm getting sick of this shit. What's next? Don't call someone an asshole because that's sexist because only men have prostates? Don't say the word straight as a direction because that's offensive to non-straight people? Don't tell trans people that you support them because that's actually saying that you don't support them because microaggressions and people don't say what they mean? Stop using the word brown? Stop saying the word skin because some people are born with a crippling genetic defect? Don't say that you're hungry because in some countries your hunger is the same as feeling gorged with food? Don't talk about your fingernails because Jesus was put up on the cross with nails and for you to act like you went through even one ten-thousandth of what Jesus did reeks of non-Jesus privilege. Don't compare Hitler to Hitler because Hitler had nothing to do with the Nazis. Don't dye your hair blue because that would be supporting Blue Lives Matter. Don't talk about things that are happening on the other side of the globe because that's offensive to those who don't believe the world is round. I'm especially getting sick of people changing definitions of words to prove a political agenda. It seems to be a big thing for the past few years. Not enough people paying attention to an issue? Well, just change the language so everyone who disagrees is a bigot, and then you can cry harassment and get a pity party when people criticize you for calling everyone who disagrees with you a bigot. Because the dictionary definitions of words are old, archaic, and no longer valid. Unless, of course, you're defining the word feminism. This way, if you say you're not a feminist, you can be told by people like Aaron Raw and Dan Savage that you don't care about women's rights. While at the same time, if you think that black people can actually be racist, people like Cat Black and Francesca Ramsey can say that you don't care about black people and therefore you're racist. I mean, after all, if you're white, you're racist by default because of yet another redefining of words by ideological bullshit. Even people like Dragnot Silvas are in on the dictionary bashing and are in full support of the redefinition of words like racism. Because dictionaries only matter when they support your narrative. Because that's what it's like to live in this post-truth era. You can just redefine anything you want, anytime you want, so you can always be guaranteed to be right at all times. According to the newest train of thought, you can't be upset at this latest torture incident unless you're also upset about incident G and Y and K and Z and a bunch of other incidents you've not heard about before. It doesn't matter if you've never heard of those incidents before. You're a bigot and a hypocrite for not caring about them. You're supposed to talk about all those incidents all the time that you've never heard about, otherwise you don't have the right to talk about any other incidents, because, you know, cabbage. Have a problem with racism against white people? Well, then you don't care about racism against black people, and therefore you're a racist and fuck you, right? And now people like Riley are saying that when something happens to someone who is trans, it's so much worse than when the exact same thing happens to those who are cisgender because trans people have it so much worse, therefore negative things that are exactly the same are actually different. I've been trying to show that I understand that minorities often have to deal with things that those who are in the majority don't have to go through and will never have to go through. And this is true. And that the things that the majority never has to go through are why they're considered privileged. It's all about what they don't have to experience. But apparently that's not good enough of a message to the extremes of the left because I'm not saying patriarchy every twelfth word and privilege every eighth word and declaring that everyone is a shitlord and scum every eighth or tenth phrase. And then, of course, there are a number of others who claim that just my stating that minorities deal with things that the majority doesn't have to deal with makes me an SJW cuck. Because apparently I have to be completely on one side or the other. Yeah, to any of you pushing this polarized tribalist bullshit, yeah, sod off, you hosers. 